Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. You are joining me today from Northwest England, Manchester. It's a city where I call home and it's very close to my heart, although I've not been spending much time here over the past 12 months. However, I will be spending majority of the summer here in the UK, which I'm very excited about. So today I am doing two of my favorite things to do, and that is riding my motorcycle and drinking coffee and I will be taking you along with me. The weather has been quite unpredictable today, a typical British summer day. Um, cloud, sunshine, cloud again, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed uh, for a dry day, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to grab my kit, head downstairs, show you my bike, and then get riding. I'm excited about this. Okay, there she is, my Royal Enfield Continental GT 650 in chrome. It is pretty much standard, um, apart from the exhaust that I've changed. It's a two to one Stinger exhaust from um, Tech Bike. I think it sounds awesome, uh, but it's pretty much standard. Uh, it's a 2020 model, I bought it last year, and it has only done 500 miles. Let's have a look. 512 miles, so not a lot at all really. But the goal for this year is basically to put as many miles as possible on this bike and really enjoy it. Um, but I'm going to talk about the bike uh, a little bit more in detail later on, but for now, let's go riding. Okay, I have just stopped for, um, for a proper walk around the bike. Um, I am currently right underneath um, Manchester Deansgate train station. I'll show you. How beautiful are these bricks? I just love it. Anyways, back to the bike. So, 
Royal Enfield Continental GT 650. It is putting out about 47 horsepower, uh, so not super fast, but I just love the power delivery on this bike. It is super, super smooth, and it allows me to really rev it without worrying too much about my speed. Because for me, when I can sort of push the bike to its limit and I'm not doing crazy speed, that's the most fun for me. I have been, um, this is actually my fourth or fifth bike. I started with a Kawasaki Ninja 300. And then I, when I did my, I had an A2 license at the time. Then I upgraded to the full A license. Then my first big bike was a Honda CBF 1000. Uh, the next one was a uh, Triumph uh, Sprint 900, love that bike, triple sounded awesome. Um, the next one after that was a Triumph Sprint 1100, uh, too heavy, not very comfortable at all. Um, I sold that one and I got this, um, this Enfield Twin 650, which I absolutely love. Uh, I just love the character of it. Um, it's just, yeah, it's my favorite bike um, by far. Um, when I was looking to buy it, uh, I was looking at the Bonneville, uh, like the T100 and T120, uh, but, but for the price of it and the, uh, the history of it, I don't know, it was just, I just had to get one. There's plans to um, customize the bike a little bit, so, there will be more on that shortly but yes i have some plans to change a few things around and make it more more mine but uh just look at it just looks gorgeous anyways we're going to carry on riding next stop is going to be a coffee shop um grab some coffee maybe something to eat Okay, I have just had some coffee and food um, here in Ancoat in a place called uh, Just Between Friends, which they do great coffee. Um, and they do these little uh, peanut butter balls with chocolate on top, which was amazing. Um, so this area, Ancoat, is used to actually be an industrial uh, state uh, full of spinning mills and uh, Actually, the, the Industrial Revolution started here in Ancoats, Manchester, which I'm really fascinated by. Coming home. So, uh, <laughs> uh, coming home, just a taxi driver shouted. Um, it is coming home. Um, so yeah, I am fascinated by in this, this history of this area, which I think was really amazing. Um, so, next stop, I'm going to do more riding to, uh, area called Salford Keys, uh, which where BBC and ITV and all of those um, um, television related places are, um, most of them located. So I'm going to keep on riding and I'll catch up with you at uh, Salford Keys.
Okay, here we are at Media City, the heart of Salford Keys, where we have the BBC and ITV studios right behind me across the canal. What I love about Manchester is, for me, it's the perfect mixture of uh, the whole industrial vibe of the city, where you have warehouses, uh, mills converted into residential and office spaces. And all of that is mixed with the modern touches um, of, of the likes of this place. So, yeah, I just love, absolutely love this city. Um, the character, the history of it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, I was riding past um, Old Trafford, um, the famous Manchester United Stadium. Uh, I'm not a football, f particularly football fan myself, but uh, my friend Oscar, um, he's probably the biggest Manchester United fan um, in Norway and probably in the world also. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that little drive-by that was just for you. Um, speaking of football, last night was the Euros semi-final England versus Denmark and <sighs> intense, very intense game chuffed with the results and I'm very much looking forward to the final on Sunday. Uh, so a little bit more about the bike. Uh, how does it feel like riding in town? Well for me it's a perfect city bike. It's not the fastest by any standards. 47 horsepower and 52 uh, newton meters of torque. However very very usable power I absolutely love riding it um, I haven't done that many t uh, that many miles as I mentioned earlier it has only done about 500 miles but that's gonna change very soon I am planning lots and lots of uh, riding this summer uh, there's gonna be um, more content coming up uh, on that very soon so if you if you are into that kind of stuff uh, stay tuned um, and uh, yeah, it would be interesting to see how I feel about the bike um, after some after some more miles. Um, I'm gonna in, end the video shortly. Uh, I'm gonna start heading back to our town, so I'll show you some more footage on my ride back to town. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye.